Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. I haven't done a weekend vlog in a while and honestly, I'm just feeling like picking up the camera and filming for you guys this weekend. I mean, I really don't have like that much planned, but I definitely need to do some like cleaning, some organizing, get my life together a little bit. But first, we need to take this little curling contraption out of my hair. Um, I put this in and I just like twisted it around. It's kind of like those bathrobe curls, but you can like buy this on Amazon and it comes with like two scrunchies and a clip. The clip, I don't know where it is, so I just used a random clip, but um, I'm going to take it out really quick. <laughs> oh goodness. These are heatless curls and they're like perfect like i think i need to like straighten this bang a little bit just do a little bit of a touch up maybe in the back but other than that like i know it's gonna fall and look really really pretty just took sophie out and as you can see behind me i've been really neglecting my space recently i don't know why i just like can't put things away but this week like this coming week i really want to be more intentional about that kind of stuff so it starts today. I was inspired by the What We Said podcast and they were talking about like cleaning and they were actually talking about the, what's it called, KonMari method. It's like that Marie Kondo show on Netflix. I never actually watched it, but the way they were talking about it, it simplified it so much that I'm like, yeah, I mean, cleaning really doesn't sound that bad. And I personally like to clean, especially when I get into that mode. It's hard to get into that mode, but <laughs> when I do clean, it makes me feel so good and like a lot less stressed out. So let's take care of this before I combust into a million pieces. I think they said to pick up trash first and then like pick up laundry and then put stuff back in its place. I don't know, don't quote me, but I feel like there's a lot of like random little trash around. So let's go pick it up. Is from aloe and I actually recently got it actually a couple weeks ago but this is my first time wearing it and then I'm just wearing some sweat shorts from TJ Maxx I believe um, but I'm getting hungry it's noon and I think I'm gonna do a smoothie in my new beast blender over there I actually really really like this blender I do have a Vitamix but this blender is just so like portable it's so much easier to use and like I'm not even gonna lie, I feel like it blends my stuff way better than the Vitamix. And even when I first got the Vitamix, I was like, why isn't it blending like as good as I thought it would? Um, but no, this new blender is really, really good. It's a powerhouse. So I think I'm gonna try like a pumpkin smoothie kind of thing. I've had pumpkin cookies this season, but other than that, I have not had anything pumpkin and I bought like cans of pumpkin to put in my smoothie because I saw a recipe on TikTok. So I think I'm just gonna copy that recipe. Like I can pick it up with one hand. I feel like that in itself is pretty major because I feel like the Vitamix is just so annoying to get out. Like yes, first world problems, but like the convenience of it all, especially when you're like purchasing and investing all these appliances, it really just makes so much of a difference when it's this convenient. <laughs> Since I have kind of a lot of bananas going bad, I'm just gonna use two and make it more of like a pumpkin banana smoothie. I think that's what I'm gonna do.
so it's pretty liquidy. I'm definitely gonna add some ice. taste the pumpkin. I did put this coconut milk in there, so maybe it's like overpowering it or something. Hmm, not bad, but not very pumpkin-y. <laughs> it's around three o'clock and I took a nap because I was just, you know, feeling a little lazy today, which is totally fine because now I'm recharged, I'm ready to go. I also just remembered I have not been drinking as much water as I usually like to do before I go out. Tonight we're celebrating a friend's birthday and she wanted to do um, this like roulette game where everyone brings a tall boy and then like you cover it with a brown paper bag and then like I guess it's kind of like white elephant but like for like tall boy drinks. I'm a little nervous guys because whenever I drink I try to stick to the same alcohol which is usually always tequila and I know a lot of my friends do not like tequila so I don't think that any of the tall boys will be tequila based, so that shall be interesting. Um, I mean, obviously, it's not like we're being hazed into like finishing it, it's just a game. I know it's gonna be fun, so I'm very excited for that game. And then we're also getting a party bus, so she's going all out. Um, but I do need to go to the alcohol store to get a tall boy. Honestly, I wish I lived in one of those states where they sold alcohol at the grocery store because it's just so convenient that way. And I kind of thought they used to sell like seltzers at the grocery store. I don't know why I thought that. I mean, I know they sell like wine and beer, but sometimes I would see like, you know, seltzers there, maybe not, I don't know. Anyways. So I'm gonna go to the alcohol store and then I'm gonna come back here. I'm really manifesting that my outfit works out for tonight. I don't know if I already told you guys, I started using Fashion Pass literally this week. I just got my first package. So I haven't tried anything on and that's what I'm wearing tonight. So I'm just like really, really hoping for the best with that. I'm gonna take Sophie with me um, cause it's a quick errand and I just want her to like get out of the house. I will also play ball with you later after we get back. So you can be sleepy. Okay, come on. I didn't realize I lived so close to a liquor store, so that was so clutch. The liquor store itself actually didn't really have that many tall boys, because I think it's more of like a, not bougie one, but it's called the Austin Shaker, so I think they're like more focused on like actual cocktails, I'm guessing. But there was like a little stop and tow, I think it's called, right next door, and they had a lot of tall boys. So I just ended up getting like two Topo Chicos because need to contribute a little bit more tequila because I and like I said I know my friends are probably not gonna get tequila based seltzers so got two Topo Chicos and then one White Claw I just got it for my other friends because they didn't have time to go um and now I'm trying all my fashion pass stuff and I'm so happy because the top fits perfectly it looks so so cute but now I'm really worried about the jeans but also excited because these are Rolas and I've always wanted to purchase like shorts from Rolas, I think, mostly, but their jeans look so cute. So I feel like Fashion Pass is great for that, trying out new brands and like seeing what like the material is and like if it's like really worth the quality and everything like that. Um, so let me try on the jeans and I'll show you guys. Update, the pants did not fit. <laughs> and it's so weird because I feel like a lot of my shorts are fitting a little bit looser these days. Um, but yeah, I hate how like brands all across the board, like. Their sizing is so inconsistent, which I guess like different brands have different sizing, but like, why is that a thing? I, I literally don't understand. So anyways, that sucks. Cause like with fashion pass, you can't just like return one item and like then be able to choose another item, like run the runway, at least before COVID happened. That's how it used to be. And that was so nice because like, if something didn't fit, you could just like go return it and get something else. Um, but now it's just sitting here, not being in use. And I did get like, the package where you can get four clothing pieces and three accessories at a time so you can like return them as many times as you want in that month but again you have to return the whole thing 
So, I don't know. I just want to try it out and see if it's like worth it, especially because events are like ramping up. And honestly, I cannot keep up with everything. Like, I don't want to have to go to the mall and buy like a freaking new outfit every time, which like I don't have to. But right now, currently with my wardrobe, I just like have not been feeling it. Maybe things aren't right for like the events I'm attending. I'm not really sure what's going on. But, anyways, I'm very excited to be trying out Fashion Pass. I'll show you guys the bags. These are really cute. Like a little sparkly one. I didn't know if I was actually going to use it, but like the accessories, they don't really have that much to choose from, so I was just like, I'll just pick these and if I use them, I use them, whatever. And then this one, which I was thinking for tonight's outfit, but I don't know, I don't think it goes. Oh, <laughs> look how tiny it is. This would not, okay. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Shoot. Oh no, oh god, it's stuck. Okay, I got it off, no holes, no nothing, we're good. Um, I'm going to like start getting ready slowly. I am like so hot because I just took out Sophie and <laughs> I feel like I need to cool down before I put makeup on this face. And also I kind of want to do a face mask, so maybe I'll do that, chill out for a little bit and then get ready. I just decided to keep the top on. This is what it looks like. Very cute. I feel like the past couple of years I've been staying away from wearing black and I just saw TikTok kind of like putting my thoughts into words. But basically she was saying um, that like high contrast outfits don't flatter her body. And I was like, yes, like it's so like almost like cutting off, especially in photographs. So like if you ever take professional photos, do not wear black. Do not. I beg of you. Um, every time I have like a grad or a senior wearing black, I always feel like there's such better colors out there like pastels or like even a white dress. I feel like I always recommend like a white dress and even if it's like in a bright area, I still think like white is like beautiful and angelic almost. Um, but yeah, something with like black in photos I just cannot. So that's why I kind of stopped wearing black even though it makes you look slimmer. Um, but anyways, I'm going to do a face mask and... I decided I do. Hmm. I'll do this one from Loops. They sent over a bunch, and this one is Clean Slate. It's detoxifying, deep cleansing, soothing, and hydrating. Perfect. I only recently tried these out, and they really remind me of one of my favorite um masks of all time but i'm so greedy with them because they're not very cheap um they're called the dr jart like masks rubber masks i think they're called i remember in college every time there was a sephora sale me and my sister would stock up on those masks and i feel like she introduced me to all, a lot of like beauty products um because she used to love shop from sephora okay so this is what it looks like it's two pieces, so it actually like fits your face a little bit better. That's like the best part about it. But you have to be like really gentle because one time I ripped it with my nail because I was like picking it up with my nail. Okay, and then I think it has a back. Yeah, you just peel it off like that. And it's kind of like this jelly texture, which I love. Then we have this piece. It peels off on both sides. Okay. You just lay it down nicely. Perfect fit. I actually just got this mini ring light situation. It's kind of a vibe with the lights off, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Skin feels good and fresh, but I'm going to still layer on some skincare just in case. So we'll go off my Glow Recipe cream. Oh, it feels so supple already. Honestly, I don't even know if I need all this, but I feel like you can never be too hydrated just because I have dry skin, so. I have been using this recently. I got this in like a goodie bag from an event I went to. It's the Colleen Rothschild's face oil. Honestly, I'm a big fan of any kind of face oil. So I'm gonna put some of this on. 
every time I go out, I'm like, ooh, should I do false lashes and like a full glam look? But honestly, sometimes when I do fake lashes, I feel like I could curl my real lashes like way higher up. So maybe I'll make a game time decision when it comes to the lashes part. Um, but I'm going to go full glam and use my favorite full coverage foundation. This is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. The last color I got was like a little too orange. I don't know like when I went in to get color matched, if it was like in the peak of summer when I was in my most tan or what. But I got kind of a lighter shade. Um, I did 10 warm. Honestly, even this could be a little too orange, but I feel like it always works out in the end because like my body is so much more I feel like that's pretty good. Um, I feel like my body is so much more tan than my face, which is a good thing. That means I don't put my face in the sun. <laughs> I feel like I have not been in the sun for a while. Like I literally already feel like I'm getting like pale and it's not even the winter months yet. And usually I'm out there swimming like a fish every freaking weekend, any freaking chance I can get. But I feel like I used to like do that stuff with Ryan, so maybe that's why. <laughs> but I definitely wanna go like swimming. Honestly, I wanna do like one last boat day here in Austin before summer ends. But boats here are like not cheap. <laughs> I mean, you can get like a big group and stuff, but honestly the cheapest, I did like a whole Excel sheet the last time I was trying to book a boat and the cheapest I could get was like $86 and that included like tip and boat ramp fee and everything like that, but still like, it's kind of a lot to spend for, you know, one day, but it's worth it, especially if you don't do it often. So this past week or like this weekend, I don't even know how long it's going on for, honestly, but it's been New York Fashion Week. And like last year, I definitely found myself being super jealous and wanting to go so bad. But this year I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> it seems so chaotic. Like obviously if I was able to go, I'd be so grateful, but it truly does seem super chaotic and so stressful. So props to those girls that are like showing face to all these events because, I mean, I'm not gonna say their job is hard, but like, it just seems like really crazy. My base is looking so good right now. <laughs> I'm kind of going for that. I just got my makeup done by a professional vibe <laughs> tonight. Cause I just like, you know, I have the time. I hope I have the time, let's see. Okay, I have like exactly an hour, but like, I just need to touch up my hair. I don't need to do anything crazy, so I feel like that's good enough. Um, but I'm just gonna go in with like a little light brown using the Jaclyn Hill neutral palette. Yeah, Divine Neutrals. And I still can't decide if I wanna wear falsies or not. Here's my eye makeup so far. What do we think? I think it looks pretty good. I did decide to go with the lashes. We're gonna do the Demi Wispies by Ardell, I believe. I don't know, I just found these and there's one more pair. So I was like, you know what? Maybe it was fate. <laughs> but I do need to find some tweezers to put them on now. The way I put on lashes is I rip them off this thing very gently. And then I already put um, my glue on like a little thing that I'm gonna throw out. But this is the one I use. This is the glue I use. Duo, um, dark, right? Yeah, dark tone. So I have it on this little mascara thing. This glue seems really like thick, so that's good. Okay, we'll do the other one. It's game time, ladies. I think the lashes are tacky enough, so I'm going in. Here's the makeup. I just need to do a lip. But I love how it turned out. A little smoky eye, false lashes, the whole deal. And this is the hair just from those curlers. I just like brushed it out a little bit with this brush and then added a little bit of texturizing spray straight into like these pieces and that's it. But I think I might curl the front pieces so it can be like a little bit more fresh. actually saved me a lot of time doing that little ribbon thing. I'll link it below. Um, 
You can get it on Amazon for like literally $10. This morning I went down to get some packages and I'm just now opening them up because I'm trying to look for some earrings I got from Amazon. But anyways, I caved and got the Aesop soap and I used it at a restaurant. We went to the Peacock, yes, and it smelled so divine. And, you know, I sat on the idea of getting it. And then, of course, it came up on my TikTok feed. And I feel like whenever it comes up on your TikTok feed, it literally is a sign. So I decided to get them. And I actually got two. Call me crazy. I know they're not, like, very cheap. And I'm kind of surprised that, like, this bottle is, like, not glass. It's plastic. Wouldn't you think that an expensive soap like this would be, like, nice glass? I literally thought it was glass. That's so weird. Anyways, I'm about to go wash my hands just to smell the soap. <laughs> you guys know how I said that I haven't really worn black very much? What was I thinking? Why? Why did I do that to myself? I feel like this is the best going out outfit I've had in a while. These jeans are kind of like a leather texture, but they don't feel like leather. They feel like a stretchy kind of like denim. And then these heels are Knowles heels from Dolce Vita. And this top is from Fashion Pass. Yay! I'm so excited that my outfit came together even though those jeans did not really work out for me, but I am a happy girl. Oh my, the hat is everything. Wait, did you put that chain on it? No. Oh my god, I love it. That's so cute. Okay, tell us where the outfit's from. Oh god. Uh, Revolve, Shop Bop, Free People, and Nordstrom. Andy is the hostess. With the Moses, how cute. Dane, can you help? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Dane's can help. Oh my god! <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. We're playing just the And we don't know what's in the bag. And we're gonna find out. <laughs> I'm terrified. <laughs> we'll see. Who wants to go first? Sunday. It's actually definitely not morning. It's 1 35 and Yesterday was so much fun. We went on a party bus and then we went to Dirty Bills Which is one of my new favorite bars. We went out last uh, Weekend and we went to two new bars to us at least at least maybe to me But I think it was Andy's first time too, but we went to Dirty Bills and Key Bar and they're just so fun Like Dirty Bills is a lot smaller, but both of them are like more like Dancey? I don't know. I just love bars that like have a good dance floor and have good music. So if you want to come here? Come. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Hey, Will. Hey, Will. Um, but my friends wanted to go on a walk and walk off the alcohol and stuff. Um, so 
we're gonna go on the Lady Bird Lake Trail. I would love to bring Sophie, but she stops every five seconds <laughs> to sniff everything, especially on that trail. And I don't want to deal with that when I'm with like other friends and I'm not sure if they're bringing their dogs. So, sorry, we'll play ball when I get home, okay? Um, but I literally look like the epitome of Ladybird Lake trail goer. <laughs> there was this meme of an American Girl doll in like her Outdoor Voices exercise dress and her little Lululemon belt bag. I have yet to get that, but I do have like a little fanny pack that I like to bring on walks. Um, but I thought it was just so funny. Put my Apple Watch on so we can track those steps and I'm gonna put on some sunscreen. This is the glow screen, but it's the golden hour shade and it makes such a big difference, especially if you've tried the original shade, like, and you're my skin color. It just is so much better. I honestly hate being outside middle of the day. Like, I prefer to go on walks at the end of the day, but we all decided on this time. And I'm hoping that when I get back, I'll shower and then possibly put on makeup. I mean, maybe if I'm, like, so dead. Maybe not. I don't want to, like, be too hard on myself because it is the weekend. But I would love to film some TikToks because um, I've just got some Amazon stuff in the mail. And whenever I post my Amazon try-on videos on a Sunday, they literally always do good. So I'm really wanting to post that today so I can take advantage of it being a Sunday. But this whole morning I was editing um, my vlog that's supposed to go up today and I'm kind of just like re-watching it and adding in the iPhone clip. So it's almost done, but I want you guys to comment down below. If you do watch YouTube on a Sunday, do you like when YouTubes are live for you and ready to watch right when you wake up? Or do you like to watch YouTube at the end of your Sunday? Cause I'm trying to decide like what posting time I need to stick to for like a Sunday video. Usually I do end up editing on Sundays, which I, I really want to beat that habit and like try to get done by like Friday. But you know, I get a little lazy on the weekends. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, just let me know when you guys like watching the videos um, on Sunday. But it is 1.40. I mean, I'm not too far from the trail, but I think I'm going to head out and just like pack my bag and stuff. Here's the outfit. I have my aloe hat on, outdoor voices, one shoulder dress. And then for shoes, I'm wearing my Merrells, which I feel like I never wear, but they're like good, like walking, hiking, shoe kind of things. And they like low-key match my dress. Cosmo and Wanda vibes. <laughs> Shook. Wow. It's so nice, literally. Wow. go outside when the sun like is a little bit more down and just like cooler out it was really hot my mouth is getting so dry i like refuse to take a water bottle on a walk with me because i don't i don't want to hold it <laughs> but i probably should have because i was so dehydrated to start with i put makeup and quickly touched up my hair uh, but now i'm gonna film my amazon tiktok but I wanted to show you guys on the vlog what I got. So starting off with this green vest. I love how high the collar is because you can kind of like wear it like all the way up or like have it just like pop out. I think it looks so cool. Um, and I also wanted to show you guys this um, long sleeve. Oh, what the heck is my tag doing out? But this long sleeve I just got in from Abercrombie. I was shopping there in store the other day and I saw this shirt and I was like, I need it because it looks like a Skims like long sleeve shirt which honestly I still want to check out Skims. I forgot to go to Nordstrom that one day I told you guys that I wanted to um, but this is a lot cheaper. I think it was on sale too. I'll try to link it down below if I can find it online. I love the texture of it. It does have like that ribbed look but it's very very soft. Up next is this leather jacket and I kind of think I want to exchange it for like a size bigger. I mean it doesn't look horrible. 
but I also don't like know exactly how to style it so I just put on the same outfit I had on last night. Oh my god, okay this one is so comfy. I love the color, it's like the perfect neutral color and it's not like a super thick jacket. I mean there's a lot of warmth but I feel like I'm gonna be wearing this around my house a lot until the temperature drops. So I ordered Spicy Boys for dinner tonight and it just said it was ready and I live kind of close by. So I'm gonna go pick it up right now. Um, and I ordered it at perfect time because my stomach is scrumbling right now. I'm starving. Back home with my Spicy Boys and I got some tater tots. They're so good. Um, I usually just get the plain because they're already like seasoned, um, but there's an even more like tingly one. And then I usually get the OG sandwich. So this is more like Southern, but like with an Asian twist. So there's like Asian slaw, I think, in the fried chicken sandwich. And then I also like to get the yellow curry because it comes with two rotis. And then um, I sometimes like to dip my sandwich in the curry because there's always leftover because the rotis aren't that big. But I usually save that for like lunch tomorrow or like a snack tomorrow. So I'm very excited. It's been a while. Spicy Boys is like one of Ryan and I's favorite food trucks here in Austin. So good. Look at that. Yum. I still have not uploaded my Sunday video. I just have like a few more edits to do. I just like to fully watch the video before I like upload just in case there's any like stuttering or editing errors or anything like that. So I am going to do that while I eat. It is 1044 and I just took out Sophie, but I literally fell asleep on the couch. I was going to try to online shop on like Abercrombie, just see what they have um, because I was like so in love with this little long sleeve. So I was wondering what else they had online, um, but... That didn't happen. Tomorrow I'm waking up super early because me and my friend are gonna go take pictures downtown. I think we're just gonna do like two outfits, but I don't really know what to wear just yet. And I feel like I should not leave that till tomorrow <laughs> because I'll probably be like dead asleep. So I'm gonna end the vlog here so I can plan out my outfits, take off my makeup, all that kind of stuff. My hair is a little bit greasy right now. So maybe tomorrow we'll just be like a slicked back bun moment if you guys are not already following me on instagram and tiktok go ahead and do so it is so underscore gnarly without the g and i will see y'all in the next video bye